Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. So in today's video we are going to talk about the power of rose, what to use it for, uh, the medicinal properties as well as the beautifying properties of the rose buds, the rose petals, and um, the main ways that rose helps us to heal emotional wounds and emotional trauma as well and matters of the heart. So stay tuned. So here we have a plant, a rose plant that has been uh, growing beautifully. We just bought the plant um, quite smaller than it is right now and has been growing that way it hasn't bloomed unfortunately yet so we're hoping that with all the extra heat the summer heat uh, will help to allow this plant to flourish and grow beautifully so here we also have some wild harvested rose uh, rose petals and rose buds that have been drying on this rack for about let's say about a week they have been drying for about a week on this rack and they will be used to make all sorts of different medicinal uh, healing oils as well as uh, used for face scrubs, body scrub. Also we can use them to make the uh, rose water using the distillation or the stream uh, steam ex uh, extracted rose water. It does require a bit of time if you are wanting to make rose water using the steam method. So I'll be showing you that in the next video. If you guys are interested, comment below if you want to know all sorts of um, different ways I use rose in a much more detailed way. So these have been drying. What I can do now is store a good quantity of these in a, a glass jar with a lid on and they store beautifully. They can be used to make rose latte, rose tea as well for all sorts of rose uh, recipes. Uh, another way that I use the roses is to use them fresh like that here. This uh, batch of rose petals and flowers have been drying not drying but they've been in the refrigerator for about four to five days so they are kind of wilted and it's okay because I wanted to use them later on I didn't have time to use them straight away uh, after harvesting so it's best to use the roses uh, straight after harvesting them for any uh, fresh uh, rose recipes so here I can use these fresh roses to make rose jam also they can be used to make rose oil uh, rose uh, body scrub another way uh, to make the uh, to use the fresh roses is to make the rose water it's best when you're making rose water to use fresh rose buds and uh, rose petals because all the aroma is still in the roses uh, a part of the aroma does go away when you are using the dried uh, roses unfortunately even when you are air drying so I've tried both using the dehydrator as well as the air drying method and I realized that with the dehydrator most of the aroma does disappear with the roses but with the air drying method there um, still remains some of the aroma and I feel much more comfortable to use the roses that have been drying using the air method for medicinal uses because I feel that it preserves much of their aroma and their properties. So roses have been used throughout history to help beautify the skin, to clear the skin, to help with a gentle detox as well as any uh, matters of the heart, emotional trauma, emotional wounds. Uh, rose essence is absolutely beautiful. We've talked about flower essences before in the, uh, the previous videos about how to use them and how to make them as well. And um, uh, the rose essence is one of the most powerful essences that you can use to heal emotional trauma and emotional wounds and heartbreak and all sorts of matters of the heart as I said before. Another way to use rose is uh, to make uh, oil, a face serum as well, to make a face toner. Great for sensitive dry skin in particular because it helps to tone the skin in a gentle way without removing um, or uh, taking away the uh, natural face oils that are depleted in people who have dry, irritated and sensitive skin. Another way that roses can be used is using the rose root. Unfortunately, because um, it's quite difficult, we're not able to harvest as much rose root uh, because it will destroy the plant in general. Uh, so rose root can be uh, purchased as a supplement 
and used to help anxiety, used to help elevate the mood. It uses, um, it's used to help with depression as well. So you can get rose root in both the tincture form as well as the powder, as well as the tablet. I've used it in a tincture form. It works absolutely great uh, in helping to uh, lift up the mood, helping with stress. If you do suffer from chronic stress and anxiety and panic attacks, do use rose root as a natural method. Method. There are other ways to help with anxiety and depression and stress, such as um, St. John's Word, but I do find that it causes a bit of an, a digestive discomfort as well as stomach cramps. So rose root, I believe, is the way to go to help with that gentle um, sedative, to help with that gentle uh, depre uh, antidepressant, if you know what I mean. So I hope you found this video helpful. In the next couple of videos, we will also be talking about the different ways to use rose uh, medicinally, such as doing a uh, rose jam, uh, also doing rose water and rose oil. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's content, subscribe, like, and share. We'd love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.